Welcome back to Reborn for Greatness Ministries. I am Apostle LaShondra, and I'm coming to share a dream that was granted to me um, yesterday morning. Um, that would be July the 27th of this year. So before I share the uh, dream, I just want to plead the blood of Holy Yeshaya over our minds, bodies, spirits, and our hearts, and over our electronic devices that were used to view or to listen to this video. Heavenly Father, I come today under your protection and care. I thank you for loving kindness that never fails us. I thank you for this ministry and those that will view this video. I pray this word today will guide our thoughts and actions to bring you glory. Strengthen and fill us with your peace. May we continue to love and serve each other as Yeshua has shown us. Fill us with your Holy Spirit to do good on earth. Holy Yeshua, you are worthy of all honor and praise. Help us to love as you do and act wisely so others will be drawn to your salvation and hope. May we continue to build each other up and encourage each other daily. We give you all glory, honor, and praise. Amen. Okay, so before um, I share with you all the dream, I just want to say this, okay? Um... I'm not judging anyone, okay? Um, that's that's not what I do, okay? Um, I am to plant the seed, okay? And allow Holy Father to do the rest, okay? I'm instructed to give the word in a kind and loving and informative way that is pleasing to my Father. This is just what was shown to me, and I am to be obedient to share it like it was given. Okay. Please test the spirit. Please take what I'm saying to father to receive your own confirmation. Don't bash me or leave harsh comments. Just take it to Holy Yeshua. I'm here to do only what I'm instructed to do. That is stated in Deuteronomy 31 verse six. And that is to be strong and of a good courage. Fear not nor be afraid of them for the Lord, thy God, he, it is that doeth good with thee. He will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Okay. So I'm going to do his will. Sometimes the messages are harsh, but I must obey. Okay. Now let me get into the dream. This dream, um, it was very quick. I must say, um, so this dream started out, I was outside and, um, right in front of me, um, was a kid. Um, this kid had on some blue jeans, maybe a burgundy or a brown, uh, long sleeve shirt and black hair. I don't know if it was a girl or a boy. I don't even know what race the kid was. I just know it was a child. And um, the child never moved, never turned around to look at me. So, all right. Now, um, my focus is being taken taken off the child, and I look to my right. And um, when I looked at, in that direction, I saw nothing. And then um, appeared the, the golden arch. Um, and we all know what company this golden arch belongs to. So this arch appears right in front of me. And then a, um, um, a cartoon character, but, uh, was a male. He was a guy. Um, but it was in a cartoon character and he was floating like all around the golden arch up under it, through it, around it. And he was on his stomach. I did not see his full body, but I knew that this male cartoonish character was on his stomach. Okay. And, um, it was given like a demonic smile. And then all of a sudden the facial expressions changed, um, looked at like, um, sexual facial expressions. It's hard for me, um, to explain it, but, um, Without me seeing, Father did not allow me to see that, but I knew 
in my spirit as I'm watching that uh, sodomizing was going on with this cartoon character right in front of me. And, um, and I knew it, I just knew it. And I'm, I'm looking, I'm like, you know, uh, this is weird. Like, I don't want to keep looking. And I mean, you know, I knew what was going on and just the facial expressions was, yeah, too much. So, um, I was quickly taken from this dream. I woke up and, um, I was talking to father, like, you know, what? What was going on? I mean, what was that? And why that 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 um that golden arch, you know, what was up with that? And then, you know, I was praying and just spending some time just um going over in my mind what I saw and it was just, you know, put in my spirit that um I was shown this because uh sodomizing um is going on with this company and i don't know if it's in uh if it's with the restaurants or with the how i want to put this or if it's with the the um the uh house charities Okay, I'm just going to say it like that. I don't know if it's with the house charities. So um, I I don't know in which way. But I, I do know that sodomizing is tied to this place. Sodomizing is, is uh, tied to this place. And molesting, um, pedophilia. Let me just go back and just give those that don't know what the definition of sodomy is. And sodomy is um, a sexual intercourse involving anal or oral copulation and also pedophilia. Um, that was, uh, was put in my spirit to add to this pedophilia, rape of minors and or adults. Um, also, the LGBTQ community, and for those that who don't know, this stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, or questioning, and also molesting um, is tied in that as well. Now, we all know the story um, of Sodom and Gomorrah that is in Genesis um, chapter 19 in your King James Version Bible. Okay, we're not going to read the chapter. Um, you all can read it for yourselves. But um, we all know the story, okay? Um, and how, you know, Father destroyed it with suffer and fire because of their wickedness. But what kind of wickedness was going on in this city? Uh, homosexuality or an, uh, another transgression like the act of um, um, inhospitable behavior towards visitors, acts of sexual assault, murder, theft, adultery, idolatry, power abuses, or prideful and mockery behavior that was the principal reason for our highest destruction on Sodom and Gomorrah, okay? And I can also give you more scripture that comes out of different chapters in the Bible. Okay. Um, and this is coming out of Deuteronomy 23, 17. And it says, therefore, no, there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. And also, in 1 Kings chapter 14, verse 24, and it reads, And there were also sodomites in the land, and they did according to all the abominations of the nation, of the nations which the Lord cast out before the children of Israel. And 
also in first Kings chapter 15, verse 12 says, and he took away the sodomites out of the land and removed all the idols that his fathers had made. And, um, Here's another one that is Romans chapter one, verse 26 and 27. And it says, for this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections for even their women did change the natural use into their which is against nature. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the women burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly and and receiving in themselves that recompense of that error which was met. Okay, so I've given you different scriptures out of um different books of the Bible that talk about um describes the sodomites, okay? So we know that is an abomination, you know, um, with the Lord. And like I said, I'm giving the word. I'm not judging anyone. So take it to, take it to the Father, okay? And um, the thing with the with the child is that that okay. So the child back was turned towards me, okay. Um, and th- those are real danger signs, it, especially if you're a parent and uh, you brought, you know, your children up. Uh, you know when something's wrong with them, okay? Um, and those are just danger signs when your child has no eye contact with you. And this could be caused by an embarrassment from something. And then later on, shame and guilt can also set in, okay? Okay. Um, because they, sometimes they don't, you know, they don't want parents to know what's going on with them. And, you know, if it's, I'm not going to say if, because it is going on. I have actually read, um, some, uh, stories even right on YouTube, um, that talk about the golden arch company. Um, being sued for um, sexual assaults and other uh, things that went on with the company and um, with the with the children Um, so you have to search that out for yourselves I don't um, I'm not going to give any more um, and I'm not going to take away from what father gave me okay so you have to do your own research as well, okay? And um, but I do want to give you um, Matthew uh, chapter eighteen verses six, okay? And it says, "But whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to have a great." millstone fastened around his neck and to be drowned in the depth of the sea. So we know that Father Ahia is not going to stand for hurting his little ones, especially in this sin that is very perverse and just it's filthy. Okay? So while Father Ahaya showed me this dream, I think he showed me this dream because in this season that we're in now, in this time that we're in now, Father has built up apostles, kings, queens, messengers, whatever you are called to be and whatever area that you are, uh, we are to have our altars in our homes that are um, telling the enemy that our lands are consecrated and belong to Father Ahia, his holy son, Yeshia Hamashiach. And that's where, wherever we are, is where our altars for, for our father is supposed to be. 
And we, as the children, the body of Christ, we are to be praying together and tearing down these demonic altars. When when Father gives you dreams like this or give you, however he speaks to you and he gives you things that you're supposed to speak on and, and put out there to other people, being, you know, being that, that trumpet, that alarm, sounding the alarm for other people. He's not just giving you these things. You have to put these things out there and to put them out there, we need to pray on them. We need to get together and we need to pray on there and tear down these evil demonic altars we need to tear them down father ahaya says that it is spoken in the word is spoken in genesis 21 exodus 34 deuteronomy 7 deuteronomy 12 6 judges 3 judges 6 i can go on and on about uh, the altars i'm going to read you Exodus 34, it says, but ye shall destroy their altars, break their images and cut down their groves. We are to burn the graven images. We are to cut down their groves. We are to destroy their demonic altars. That's what we are supposed to do as the body of Christ. And that's what, what father gives these dreams for, for us to fight against these things. He did equip us with everything we need. So we need to pray together and tear these altars down. Okay. Um, and it was also, I did some research and um, I did research and found out that the golden arch is a gateway for sodomy. Okay. And the M actually... The M equals um, the male's back side, okay? Um, and this was the reason that I was shown the guy, the cartoonish character on his, on his stomach, right? Okay, and I just want to, I'm going to um, show you all some things that I found. I don't even remember where I found it, but when I find it, <laughs> I will post the link, but I'm going to let you briefly read over one and that would be, um, this section right up under the red section, <laughs> uh, where it reads the, um, our popular, the brand practically shouts occult Freemason pedophilia. And you can, you know, read over that. I will post the link. This is something that's been going on for a long time. And Father sits high and looks low. And I'm pretty sure he is sick of it. And um, it is time for us to, to tear these demonic perversion, homosexuality, secret societies, secret intrigues, covered conspiracy and hidden wiles and oppression and all of this stuff. It's time to turn it down. It's time to tear it down. It's time to tear it down. So that is the word. That's what I was shown. That's what was given to me. Take it to Father. Get your own confirmation. Okay, brothers and sisters, like I said, I will post, um, I will post the link, um, to this website that I was reading. Okay. Um, and to next time, brothers and sisters, stay blessed. Holy is Yeshua. I love you all.